In today's video, I'm going over the Anchor Wireless vertical mouse, how it works, and why it might just be one of the most ergonomic and comfortable mice for your wrists. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric of Immersive Tech TV, and on this channel, we review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch future videos just like this one. Also guys, just to let you know, down in the description box below, I'll link where you can find the Anchor Vertical Mouse as well as some other top ergonomic mice for every budget. If you experience wrist pain after using your mouse for extended periods of time, it may be time to consider an ergonomic mouse. While this vertical mouse does look a little oddly shaped at first, its ergonomically designed thumb rest and grips are designed to fit the comfort of your palm for maximum comfort. In terms of its advanced features, this mouse is built to deliver smoother movement, improved accuracy, and customizable settings. This mouse combines a handshake grip with easy access buttons and three levels of mouse sensitivity, 800, 1200, or 1600 DPI for improved tracking. These three levels of mouse sensitivity really give you a nice and smooth precise tracking on a wide range of surfaces. As opposed to most other ergonomic mice, this anchor mouse is designed with a vertical grip, and strangely enough, its shape is made to fit the human hand perfectly. This anchor wireless vertical mouse encourages healthy, neutral handshake wrist and arm positions for smoother movement and less overall strain on your wrists. Its next and previous buttons located on the side provide convenience when browsing the web. In terms of its power saving, after 8 minutes of being idle, this mouse then enters power saving mode, the power is turned completely off. To simply turn it back on, you just simply press the right or left button. It is important to note that this mouse is specifically designed for right-handed users. At the current time, there's not a left-handed mouse version, but hopefully in the future, they'll make a left-handed one as well. As you can see in this example, when using a standard optical mouse, you tend to shift your wrist from left to right frequently, and for extended periods of time, this can really add up and cause RSI, or repetitive strain injury. When you think about it, when you bend your elbows and rest your arms on the desk in a natural position, your hands are shaped vertically, they're not shaped down flat. So using a standard optical mouse, this tends to cause that repetitive strain injury. Now if you see this example of the anchor vertical mouse, this tends to go with your arm's natural flow when you bend your elbows. And as you can see with this anchor vertical mouse, instead of shifting your wrist from left to right, you're now moving your arm left and right up and down in a very natural movement. The first thing I noticed about this vertical mouse that made it a lot easier for me for a first time user of ergonomic mice is that a lot of other ergonomic mice, they have like a trackball which I felt was really hard to do and I felt that might take a long time to get used to. But with this one there's really no gimmicks, it's the same design as a standard optical mouse, it's just tilted vertically for a more natural feel. So there's really no learning curve on this mouse which I really was a big plus for me because I was originally looking at trackballs but I was reading on those and some people said they took like two to four weeks of learning time frame for those. So for that that reason it was a much easier transition for me and I was much more open to trying this ergonomic design. Keeping in mind that this vertical mouse only has one side, the opposite side provides plenty of room to rest your thumb. In terms of its weight, although this mouse does look rather large compared to standard smaller mice, it only weighs about 95 grams. This lightweight design really helps with its ergonomic comfort by helping ease the hand and wrist tension that some heavier mice can cause. In terms of its build, it has a really solid feel to it. Although it's made of plastic material, the grip is solid and it feels well constructed. And although it comes in an unconventional shape, this anchor vertical mouse does not sacrifice accuracy for comfort. In my case, it took a few days to get the hang of it, but after that it felt very natural and I noticed a lot less tension and strain on my wrists. The four small feet on the bottom of this mouse also provide smooth movement which definitely help when you're learning how to use it. In terms of its design, this mouse has a pretty futuristic look. With its black matte finish and its rubbery plastic grip, it makes the mouse pretty much fingerprint proof. On the bottom concave section next to the thumb rest, there's a blue LED light that shines to show when there's a low battery or when you turn it on. This mouse is rated at 1 million clicks, and I have to say the left and right buttons are pretty fast, especially for a productivity mouse. Now do keep in mind that this is not a gaming mouse, but for a productivity mouse, the buttons do pop up back pretty quickly. I found the top buttons pretty easy to click with very little accidental click as well, and I really think its vertical design helps reduce its accidental clicking. In terms of its scroll wheel, when scrolling slowly, the wheel locks into each notch. But I did find when you scroll a little bit faster, the notches do feel a little less apparent. Its top DPI button works pretty well too, and it feels just as responsive as the left and right clicks. You can easily reach this DPI button with your thumb as well. Being able to adjust its DPI is perfect when editing images or requiring something that needs more precision. Likewise, its forward and back buttons, located on the underside, can also be reached with your thumb. In terms of its connectivity, this mouse broadcasts over a 2.4 GHz frequency with a USB adapter. Throughout my testing, I never found the mouse to disconnect from the receiver. It was only after I moved about 5 feet away that I started to notice some disconnect. But most times, you wouldn't be this far from your adapter anyways. And if you ever plan to travel with this mouse, yes, you can insert the USB adapter on the bottom of the mouse. Its optical sensor is pretty good for a productivity mouse. And while the sensor isn't the selling point of this mouse, 
I do love that its DPI can be adjusted to either 800, 1200, or 1600 DPI. Now I've only been using this mouse for about a week myself, but I've read other users say that the mouse has about a 3 month battery life when using the mouse on average between 8 to 12 hours a day. In terms of installation, there's no software to install, there's no drivers to install, it's pretty much plug and play right out of the box. Just plug the adapter in and you're ready to go. So overall, I feel this mouse is a pretty solid productivity mouse for the price, and it's definitely a great entry-level ergonomic mouse as well. Now, I will say it's not designed to be a professional gaming mouse, so all the features I mentioned are pretty adequate for casual gaming, but definitely not for professional gamers. So is this the right ergonomic mouse for you? Well, it depends. Most other ergonomic mouses come with trackballs, but if you want an easy transition and low learning curve from your standard optical mouse to an ergonomic mouse, this might be the option for you, especially if you want to try to alleviate some wrist pain that you may be having. And that pretty much sums up today's review of this Anchor Vertical Mouse. Let me know what you guys think about this mouse down in the comments below. I have to say for my first experience with the ergonomic mouse, although it was a little oddly shaped for me at first, I actually found it more comfortable than expected. Lastly guys, if you have any questions about this Anchor Vertical Mouse, feel free to let me know your questions down below in the comments and I'm always happy to answer those for you. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.